everybody, it's Rain, and I hope you're all doing great. Today, I needed to relax, so we are doing a nice relaxing spin. If you want to take a look up here in the eye, in the right corner of your screen, you can check out this fiber. This is a mohair and wool blend that I'm using for my husband's socks, and today I'm going to be spinning it. And for me, this is just the most relaxing spin you can get. A nice fingering weight, uh, like half a fingering weight single, uh, about 40 to 30 wraps per inch, around in there somewhere. So let's get started. This is my absolute favorite way to spin. Just a nice, thin, consistent single. I would, I mean, I could sit here and do this for hours and hours, all day long. I could just sit and spin nice, smooth, consistent, worsted style singles. And I'm going to show you some really up close footage of how I do that. And hopefully it can help you with a couple tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you today. As you can see, I hold my fiber in my left hand pretty close to the drafting triangle and I do want to mention as you can see right there is a little nub a little nip slub whatever you want to call it I always stop as I'm spinning and pull those out this is essential if you are going for a worsted style um, really like strong yarn that doesn't have much air trapped in it if you're using a carded prep, you're going to have more air trapped in it because the fibers are pointed in all different directions. With this type of spinning, you want to keep all of your fibers pointed in the same direction. And those little nubs you get, or uh, nip, slubs, whatever you want to call them. I like to call them nubbies. <laughs> but those little nubbies you get are pieces of fiber that are in the wrong direction. That have kind of just got caught along the way. I always have them when I comb my fiber because this was hand combed, hand blended. This is a special blend of wool and mohair that I blend together. One day in the future, I will be having some of this actual blend in my shop. So be on the lookout for that and much, much more. Anyway, I digress. Let's stop rambling and get to some spinning tips, shall we? All right, let's take a look here. As you can see, when I'm spinning, I keep my fingers really close to the drafting triangle on my left hand. And I kind of use this as my break. This is really, the left hand is really what kind of controls if too much fiber starts to get uh, wound up in the twist. So my left hand is just kind of holding the fiber and I'll pinch it if it starts to pull out too much fiber and pull back a little bit if it starts to pull out too much fiber. And as you can see, I let go here and that twist could just keep on going right back in to the fiber supply. So with your left hand, you kind of want to just um, make sure that you're not getting too much. See, I put my finger over that because it started to get a little too thick right there and you just want to kind of control it with your left hand. That's the motion I'm using. And I forgot to mention, I am right-handed, so this will be vice versa for all you lefties out there. And now my right hand, the motion I'm using with my right hand, it's doing all the work. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this clip right here where you can see I'm opening my fingers and pulling down, pinch, pull out, open, pinch, pull out, open. And you have to do this in a rhythm that keeps the fiber consistent. You want to do it at about the same length each time. You have to remember your staple length here. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not once you get going. Once you feel that rhythm, you will be able to sustain it, hopefully. So you just pinch and you pull out. And as you can see, I'm going at about the same distance each time. The same distance, the same speed. And that way, 
you're not letting too much twist pull into the fiber so that you're grabbing too much fiber. Your left hand can help with that a little bit, but you mainly want to use your right hand and if you start getting too much twist build up, you need to pull it out a little faster. And if you're not getting enough twist build up, you need to go a little slower and let the twist build a little more before you let off of your pinch. And so here is another shot of the fiber just coming out. I mean, it, it just spins itself once you get this technique down when you're spinning a worsted style. Now there's way more other methods to spin than, the, than just this. I believe this is called the short forward draw. And I am convinced that this is the easiest way to spin consistently is to use the short forward draw. Some may disagree, but um, that's just my experience. The short forward draw is gonna get you the most consistent yarn. And it's also my favorite way to spin. I absolutely love using the short forward draw. Um, like I said, it just feels like the yarn spins itself because when you let that twist come back just ever so slightly into your fiber supply, it's grabbing the same amount of fibers each time and then you just pull it out and it's the same, the same amount. You don't even have to worry about it. You just have to keep an eye, eye on it and make sure you're not, uh, going too slow or going too fast and let it get too thin or too thick. So that's quite a bit of the tips that I have for you today. I can't really think of anything else other than um, if you have an e-spinner like I do, uh, keep your tension really low, especially if you're spinning thin, you want your tension low. Um, I just barely, barely have any tension on it at all. I prefer to spin with a very, very light amount of tension. Pretty much all the yarns that I do have hardly any tension on them. And um, the only time I really up my tension is if I'm doing a little bit of a thicker yarn or if I am plying. So let's take a look at our thickness here. Go ahead and check our gauge and see where we're at. Here's what it's looking like. And I just do a ply back test and let the yarn ply back on itself. And usually you want to try to do this from a bobbin, from the yarn from the bobbin. But you can do it the way I did it too. Either way, it's going to be pretty similar to what you're going to get. And we're looking right around 22, 23 wraps per inch. And that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And with that, you guys can be the judge. It's probably around 35 wraps per inch it's maybe 37 something around in there don't forget to move your yarn guides over periodically i know when you get to spinning thin you're used to waiting forever and ever before you finally move the yarn guide over just don't forget because i have before and it's not fun so if you need any more tips on spinning i may have a video for you you can check up here in the cards. I'll link it up here in the eye right now. And check out my spinning playlist. And you may find a video that can be helpful. I know my drop spindle video is very helpful to a lot of people. That's my number one video that um, has the most views. So check that out and check out that playlist. It might help you. So you guys let me know what you would like to see next. Um... I am pretty sure we're going to do one of the cheese fleeces this week, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm just getting that itch. I want to work on some raw wool, wash some raw wool up, and see what we get. If you're interested in any of the stuff I make, I have an Etsy shop, or you can just go to rainfiberarts.com. I will link my Etsy in the description box. And please feel free to comment. I wanted my shop to be about custom blends and custom luxury fibers from the beginning. So if there's any custom fibers or any kind of custom blends you would like to see listed in Etsy, let me know and I'll put it on my list. And if there's any videos you'd like to see from me in the future, if there's any questions you have, please feel free to comment. I always reply to questions and things like that. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. That's also linked in the description box. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Guys, we're almost to 500. And I honestly didn't think I would ever get over 200. 
So thank you all so, so much. Anybody that goes to Etsy and helps out my family by making a purchase, I greatly appreciate you. You have no idea how much you help us. And let's take a look at this bobbin real quick. Here is what we got so far. Still looking good, around 37 wraps per inch. And here's a plyback test, and it is right around 20, 22, a little lower than 14, a little bit bigger than 20. So that is perfect. And I cannot wait to show you what we're going to make with this. I'm going to do a video series on it. That's what it's looking like. It is beautiful, and I cannot wait. We're going to knit socks with this, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it, diet, everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.